A Fox 35 consumer alert for you. We're showing you how to save money at your favorite grocery store's checkout by not not shopping for what you need. Now we're trying not to trick you here. Instead, we're showing you how $40 will go, how far it will go if you start planning ahead right now. Joining us right now, Josh Elledge, the chief executive angel of SavingsAngel.com. Good morning again. Good morning, Heidi. Okay, people are loving figuring out how to save, but one of the hardest things to get through people's heads, if you run out of something and you go to the grocery store when you're out, it's going to cost you a lot more than if you start stocking up ahead of time. You're absolutely right, and that's the number one piece of advice that I give people when they want to cut their grocery bill is you, you need to stop buying what you need. That's the most expensive way to shop. And we do that because that's how we save on other things. We go to the store and we say, mm, yeah, I'd like to buy that item. It looks like a great deal, but I only have $100 to buy groceries yeah. this week. So we're only going to buy what we absolutely need. You need to interrupt that cycle because, again, that's the most expensive way to shop. And so a lot of times we'll, we'll try and compensate by, well, I'm only going to buy generic products or I'm only going to go to the small discount store or I'm going to go to this big discount store or I'm going to go to a warehouse <laughs> club. It, it really, those, those kind of changes really don't make a big impact. Um, what we need to do is we need to change the way we buy things by, number one, we need to buy, we need to use coupons. Okay. Number two, we only apply those coupons to the lowest price products. And, uh, but most important, that's a good start. So save the coupons until whatever you see is actually on sale at the same time. Yes, absolutely. And that's the first part okay. of that. But I don't want you to have to do that week after week after week after week with everything that you need. What you want to do is when you get a great deal on, say, Campbell's Soup, okay. um, you want to buy many, many months worth of that. And sometimes people will look at that and say, well, I don't have that kind of money to buy that, that, you know, that much soup right now. I still have to buy the things I need. And so there's... But you do because it's so much cheaper right now that yes. it's not really going to make a difference. It, it really, there. I will be honest, there's probably going to be some things. If you need to carve some money out of somewhere, you only have $100, you're probably going to have to do without on a few things. The first month we shopped like this, Quaker Oats was on sale for pennies. We could get it for pennies on the yeah. dollar. I, we were so sick of Quaker Oats, you know, <laughs> after the uh, you know end of the month and a half. But if you'll just change a few things, you can get about three to four times as many groceries if you'll just buy these big bargain items, load up on these things, what happens 60 to 90 days in, you'll find that you have pretty much everything you use on a regular basis. It's in your pantry. That's where the magic happens. If you'll just 60 to 90 days, the next 60 to 90 days, you shop like this, by the time December rolls around, you will have an extra two to $300 money in your pocket. Yeah, and you really just buy the things that your family uses. Like a couple of weeks ago, Publix had their Tostitos chips, buy one, get one free. I left yes. with like 14 bags and they were like, oh my gosh, how many chips do you eat? I said, don't don't go nuts here. We're going right. to save these for months to come. The expiration, you may as well buy them when they're on sale. So You're absolutely right. Heidi, that is the litmus test, too. When I have people looking at my cart and go, whoa, you must really love that product, I know I'm doing the right thing. Absolutely. And right now, uh, we want to show you all these products right here on the table. We're going to be showing you exactly where to get them and for how much. I'm telling you, normally this would cost how much real quick? $50.52 is what you would spend for these products. Okay, but we're going to tell you how to at 9 o'clock to get them for just 3 bucks. Josh Elledge, thanks so much for joining us right now. Jackie?